Hey guys, Spencer Hendel here for The Hand Plan, talking about 19.2 and some tips and tricks that I would think about and consider when you're getting ready to attack this workout. I think regardless if you're planning on getting to that final bar or if you're planning on getting to you know, uh, one of the earlier bars, it's really important that you don't wear yourself out before you get to that bar that you're hoping to get to. So what I mean is, in terms of toes to bar and in terms of double unders, you gotta think that both of those exercises are really going to attack your grip. You're hanging from a pull-up bar, you're hanging onto your double under rope. You really wanna pick a number of repetitions where you know that you can get off of those two exercises, get to the cleans, and not have exhausted yourself. So if it's unbroken toes to bar, fantastic. If it's unbroken double unders, great, but if you have to break up those toes to bar or break up those double unders in an attempt to be ready for those cleans, that's super important. So make sure that you don't over fatigue yourself. So making sure that we don't over fatigue ourselves from those double unders and those toes to bar, but then same thing on the cleans. Make sure that if you're gonna do touch and go cleans, that it's not gonna jack your heart rate up too high and leave you unprepared for the next set of toes to bar and double unders. So singles might be a very good option for those cleans. Stand it up, let the bar fall to the ground. Don't let it linger too much on the ground. Don't watch it, but get your hands on it get ready to clean it again. So move at a pace that leaves you ready for your next set of double unders and your next set of toes to bar. Otherwise, have fun, get after it, and if you completed this workout back in 2016, 16.2, check back and see where you failed and see where you can improve on your score this year. Have fun and get after it.